We're going to learn about the Blend If feature in Photoshop. This is a photo of the most handsome guy you'll ever meet. And let's focus on the shadows or the dark areas like my shirt, my hair and my eyebrows and the highlights like this plant, this light and the ceiling. Now let's turn on this layer, which is an image of a crumpled paper. This image also has a lot of shadows and highlights. Of course, you can't see my face anymore because this crumpled paper layer is covering it. Let's try to click on this layer and choose blending options. And we're going to work with this blend if section. Here you can choose the channel you're targeting. For this example though, we're not working with a specific color. We're only affecting the shadows and highlights. So let's set it to gray. And here we can see two sliders. The first one is called this layer, which means the layer that is currently activated, the crumpled paper layer. And the second one is called underlying layer, which means everything that is underneath it. In this case, it's my picture that we can't see. And to make things easier to understand, I'll change the titles of these sliders to questions. So this one will be, can I see this layer? And the answer is yes. Yes, I can see the whole crumpled paper layer across all the brightness range. I can see the shadows, midtones, and highlights of the crumpled paper. But what if I don't want to see everything? I can move this slider on the left to hide the shadows of the crumpled paper. And obviously when the shadows become transparent, we can start seeing my face from the layer underneath. So the answer to this question would be no, I can't see the shadows anymore. But now if you look closely, you can see that the blend is very harsh. The shadows seem to become suddenly invisible. To create a smoother transition, you can press Alt or Option and click once on the shadow slider to split it into two sliders. Then you can move them further apart to create a smooth transition. So now it's much smoother. And you can do the same thing for the highlights. As you move the highlight slider, the brightest areas of the crumpled paper start disappearing. Alt or Option click and then create a smooth transition. Cool. Now what about the underlying layer slider? The question here is, can I see the original underlying layers through this layer? In this case, can I see my picture through the crumpled paper layer? And the answer is no. I can't see the shadows. I can't see the highlights. I can't see anything. But what if I want to see the shadows or the dark areas of my picture, my shirt, my hair, my eyebrows? Simply move this slider on the left to start revealing the shadows of the underlying layer. And the answer is now yes. Yes, I can see the shadows. And yes, I can Alt or Option click to make the transition smoother. Same thing for the highlights. If you move this slider, you'll be revealing the plant, the light, the ceiling, everything that is bright in the underlying layer. Then you can create a smooth transition. This is how the Blend If feature works in Photoshop. You can leave now.